Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to GP Reactions. And we're going to have a track now by a band called Half Man Half Biscuit. Um, and it's called Carry On Cremating. It was taken from a 1989 uh, compilation um, album. I think it was live tracks mainly uh, called ACD. Um, as the picture probably uh, suggests. and um, But I believe that this track, Carry On Cremating, was... Uh, released a few years well not released but I think it was written a few years earlier but it didn't kind of maybe uh, go with uh, I suppose any of their earlier albums so they decided to release it on this uh, compilation album uh, with live tracks and uh, so without further ado I'm really kind of curious to see what it's, it's about um, carry on cremating it doesn't sound very pleasant and um, yeah, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into this. This is a audio track only. That kind of reminds me of um, a children's program, Trumpton. Trumpton or Camberwick Green. We're hardly the fruit from a well-tended banana tree We're hardly the buyer in Rock's rich tapestry We were like two rubber ducks that passed each other in the bath I can sound like Wally out of Crossroads She threw an apple in my eye, poor blimey Alex Haley was adopted, that's what's called a disappointment When England won the World Cup back in 1966 Wembley must have been a smile Well I think Kenneth Wollstenholm summed up the moment really well When he said just look at Nobby style She threw an apple in my eye, poor blindly Alex Haley was a cop with that's what's called a disappointment this so far this song kind of feels uh like it's about kind of like ironies of of situations um like alex haley what alex haley was adopted that's what that's what's called a disappointment alex haley wrote, wrote roots and roots uh, i'm assuming um roots was tracing his like lineage back um to to um to africa um through like the slave trade and stuff like that so there's obviously kind of irony if it turned out that he was actually adopted and he didn't have the um uh, he didn't have the lineage that he kind of thought he had um i'm just kind of assuming that's what this song's about um it's kind of interesting there's a lot of uh, british uh references um scattered about crossroads was so Opera, um, yeah. Oh, they're still cremating Patty Jakes. I am not surprised. Come on now, let's face it. She was fat. Oh, it my usually God. takes forever trying to burn the grossly oversized. Who would ever want to look like that? She had a face that could launch a thousand dredges. I could never get her on my portable TV. She threw an apple in my eye. Wow, crumbs! That was uh, that was half man, half biscuit carrying carrying on cremating, and uh, although it was kind of like a short track, uh, it was like a sledgehammer to the head of uh, of lyrics. Um, I apologise for any Hattie 
Hattie Jakes fans. Hattie Jakes was a an actress from the Carry On films. She was a larger girl and um, she often played the roles of like matrons and he's kind of like a officious types of um, people, sort of, uh, I don't know, he's matronly types, matronesque types and um, yeah, that was quite, that was pretty cruel. Um, I enjoyed it though, um, but it was a little bit cruel, um, I have to say. And um, yeah, apologies to anybody who is oversized. You know, it's this was uh, back in a day when um, it was kind of uh, oh screw it. It was a it was a fun it was a fun track. And um, so I just that last lyrics. Oh, they're still cremating Hattie Jakes. I'm not surprised. Come on now, let's face it. She was fat. It usually takes forever to burn the grossly oversized. Who would ever want to look like that? Um, actually, it's probably like quicker to burn grossly oversized because um, the fat burns quicker. But I digress. Um, she, but I think my favourite line was um, she had a face that l could launch a thousand dredgers. I mean, who comes up with those lyrics? There must have been a few pints of bitter like drank before that was written. Um, do you know what? That was a fun track. Um, half man, half biscuit. Uh, I do kind of recall uh, my brother enjoying one of their tracks um, and he may have had a 7-inch um, vinyl single of it somewhere and I think it was something to do with um, it was something to do with a game called Sabutio and it was something to do with um, I'm trying to think of the title if I can get the title right then that's bonus points for me it was all I all I want for Christmas is a Dukla Prague Awake It. And for anybody who doesn't know what Subutio is, it was a, a game played by children with little kind of um, figures, uh, football figures and soccer for those Americans out there. And it was played on this like kind of velvet type um, kind of cloth football pitch. And you used to be able to buy the little teams and little boxes and Dukla Prague was a, um, I think, du Prague, well, Prague is uh, Ch uh, Czech Republic, uh, formerly known as Czechoslovakia. Uh, yeah, I kind of say, need to say more. Um, my brother enjoyed the song anyway, um, but this is the first time I've heard this one and um, it's kind of interesting. Um, I do like, I do like these um, quirky, satirical songs. Um, and I'm sure there's a, there's a a message to be had in this one somewhere, but I can't feel what it is. I just kind of felt like there was some of the lyrics were kind of ironic in a way, but then um, towards the end of it, I was kind of thinking, well, maybe they're not. Uh, maybe it's just that they had a bit of fun uh, waxing lyrical and decided to throw it down on a uh, on a track. So guys, you know, if you like Half Man Half Biscuit, uh, you know anything about them, you want to comment then please join me in the comments below. And as always, if you kind of like what you're hearing or what you're watching, then um, you're welcome to subscribe. Um, so yeah, um, till next time, you know what, take care of yourselves and I'll have a few more tracks for you pretty soon.